everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Britton. And I'm David. Uh, hey, Britton, before we get started, I just want to say thank you for pet sitting while I was gone. Oh, you're welcome. Honestly, he was really easy to take care of. Oh, good. I'm so glad to hear that. Uh, hey, did you ever take him for a walk? Well, no, not exactly. What? Uh, well, did you at least let him out? No, he didn't seem like he needed it. He pretty much just laid around the whole time. Britton, pets need exercise. Uh, did you even give him a bath? No, he never got dirty. Well, I guess not. You never let him outside. Please tell me that at the very least, you gave him some food while I was gone? I'm sorry, David. I tried. Seriously, I did. But he just wouldn't eat. You mean he hasn't eaten in a week? Well, did you bring him with you? I really want to see him. Oh, yeah. He is right here. Oh, hey, buddy. Did you miss me? Uh, are you okay, buddy? Britton, why is he not moving? Well, probably because he's a rock. He's not breathing either. Oh, you did it again. You killed my pet rock. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, David. I think you're being a little dramatic. Dramatic? Britain, my pet rock is dead, and you killed him. Well, I don't think I actually killed him because he's a rock. He was never alive. Oh, really, Britain? This is what he looked like when I gave him to you. And this is what he looks like now. Do you see that? He has axes for eyes. Everyone knows that means he's dead. And to make it worse, this is the eighth time you killed one of my pet rocks. Oh, wow. Has it been that many times? Yeah. And if you cared, you would remember them all. There was Rocky, Rocky II, Rocky III, Rocky IV, Rocky V, Rocky with Boa, Screed, and now him, Sylvester the Stone. <laughs> David, I don't know what to say. I'm not sure I actually did anything wrong, but I can see I've made you really, really sad. So I'm really sorry. Will you forgive me? Thank you for saying that, Britton. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll forgive you for the first seven times. But this time, the eighth time, I just can't forgive you. What? That's one too many times. Seriously? Yeah. If I keep on forgiving you, you'll probably keep on doing it. And before you know it, all the rocks in the world will be dead. Once again, the rocks aren't even alive. And besides, you can't just stop forgiving someone after seven times. Oh, really? Well, how many times do I have to forgive? Actually, that's a really good question. And believe it or not, there's a guy named Peter who asked Jesus the exact same question in today's Bible story. Oh, really? Did someone kill his pet rocks? Well, the Bible doesn't say, but I think we can assume the answer is no. Okay, well, what did Jesus tell him? Great question. Let's find out by reading the story. Here's how we'll do that. In just a second, press pause on the video, then open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play and we'll see you back here. Whoa, can you believe that? In the story Jesus told, the first servant owed the king a ton of money but the king forgave his debt. He told the man to keep his money and go home. Yeah, but then that same servant found another servant who owed him just a little bit of money. But instead of forgiving him, he threw the man in jail until he could pay it all back. That's so crazy. The king had forgiven him for so much, but then he didn't show forgiveness to other people. Yeah. That story that Jesus told is called a parable. That means it's a story that Jesus made up to help teach a lesson. So the characters in the story represent 
or stand for different people. Who do you think the king in the story is like? Um, I think the king is like God. That's right. The king is like God. And what about the first servant? I would say the first servant is like us. Right again. And how about the second servant? I would say the second servant is like other people who have like done something wrong to us. You got it. So what Jesus was saying through this parable is that God has forgiven us for a huge debt or amount of sins. So we should forgive other people when they sin against us. You know what? That's exactly what today's Bible verse tells us. It says, forgive one another if you are holding something against someone. Forgive just as the Lord forgave you. Colossians 3, 13. In the same way that Jesus forgives us, we should forgive other people. But how many times should we forgive someone? Yeah, seriously, that, that's what I was asking before. Is it one time, seven times? Well, in the beginning of the story, Jesus said we should forgive people 77 times. Now, some people think that Jesus was saying we should forgive 70 times seven. That equals 490. Sounds like a lot, right? Wow. That's a lot of times. So let me get this straight. I have to forgive for the first 490 pet rocks you kill. But then I can stop when you kill my 491st pet rock. Um, no, not exactly. When Jesus gave this huge number, it was his way of saying that our forgiveness should be like God's, huge, unlimited, and never ending. You see, forgiving people who sin against us is really hard, but when we let go of our anger and our hurt, it allows us to grab a hold of some way better things. Uh, I'm not sure I get what you're saying. Well, maybe today's challenge will help you understand. Uh, cool, what are we gonna do? It's super fun. I'm going to have a pig shoot balls at you with his nose and you have to catch him. Say what? Well, uh, not exactly, but kind of. <laughs> Take a look at this. When I squeeze this pig, it shoots the ball out like this. Oh man, that is so cool! It totally is! I'll shoot the ball at you and you have to catch it. Okay, that sounds pretty easy. It is, except for this one thing. While you're trying to catch the balls, you have to hold on to these two rocks. Oh, hey there, buddy. What's your name? Do you guys want to come to my house later on? David, once again, they're not alive. Yeah. Probably because they've been with you too long. I heard that. Now turn the rocks around so you can see the words on them. One of the rocks says hurt and the other one says anger. Now let's get into place and see how many balls you can catch while holding on to hurt and anger. All right, let's do it. Okay, I've got five balls. Are you ready to catch them? Bring it on, fire away. Okay, here it comes. Ready? Yeah. Oh! Oh my gosh, are you oh, right? That one got me right okay, between the eyes. Ready? Ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Focus? Yeah. Oh! Okay, I didn't get that one. You'll get this one. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Team? Yeah. Here it comes. Oh! Nope. Practice makes perfect. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Oh! Oh! Man, that was so close. Very close. Get it, though. This is the last one. Here it comes. Okay, okay. One, yeah. two, two and a half. Three. Oh! Oh, that was close. No way! <laughs> That's all five. How'd you do? I didn't do good at all. I didn't catch any of those. Uh, but that's impossible. How in the world was I supposed to catch them while I'm holding onto these rocks? Yeah, it's really hard. So how about this? Let's try it again, but this time you can put the rocks down. Nice! All right, that is more like it. Let's do it again. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Oh, oh, I actually caught that you one. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Oh, oh, oh. I got him again. Nice. I got the second one. Three. Perfect. I got the third one. Perfect. Here it comes. Four. Four. All right, last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I did it. How many did you get? I got five out of five. Oh, my gosh. Air five. What? Okay. I have to admit, that was a lot of fun. It really was. And more than that, it teaches us a lesson. How many balls did you catch when you were holding on to the rocks? Ooh, I hate to say it, but zero. Yeah, but that's kind of like what happens when we don't forgive. 
Imagine the green balls were things like peace, joy, and love. It's really hard to grab a hold of those things when you're gripping on to anger and hurt so tightly. But what happened when you set the rocks down? Oh man, I, I caught all five of the balls. That's right. When we forgive people, we set down our anger and hurt. And when we do that, it allows us to grab a hold of the peace, joy, and love that God wants to fill our lives with. That's such a cool lesson. And it makes me think of a question. Is there somebody you need to forgive? And why do you think God wants us to forgive other people? Press pause. And discuss. Forgiving people who sin against us is really hard. But when we let go of our anger and hurt, it allows us to grab a hold of some way better things. Things like peace, joy, and love. Yeah, and more than that, God wants us to forgive others because he first forgave us. That's right. God sent his son Jesus to take the punishment for our sins by dying on the cross. But Jesus didn't stay dead. No way. He rose from the grave three days later. And now, if you love and follow Jesus, your sins are forgiven, and you get to live with him forever in heaven. Hey, you know what, Britton? I think I'm realizing something. I forgave you for the first seven times you killed my pet rock. But I also want to forgive you for the eighth time. So, I forgive you for killing Sylvester the Stone. Thanks, David, I appreciate that. But I hope you don't get your feelings hurt if I take you off the list of future pet rock sitters. Oh, no, please take me off the list. My feelings are not hurt at all. Okay, good. Instead, I'm going to put you on my list of pet log sitters. This is my pet. His name is Kenny Loggins. No way, David. I'm done. Oh, come on. Britton, Kenny's a good log. He doesn't even bark. Uh, well, I mean, he has bark. No, not gonna happen. Say goodbye to the kids, David. He, he even does tricks. Roll over, Kenny. You need serious Roll help. Roll over, Kenny. Bye, everybody. We'll Roll see you next week. <sighs> oh, hey, Sylvester the Stone. You're okay. Don't worry, buddy. I'll never make you go back to Britain's house. Boy, well, yeah, thanks, David. Uh, hey, you got any more of that rock candy? 